To visit Tokyo is to glimpse the future. Not our future, perhaps, but maybe the future of some alternate timeline. It's a city that's inspired countless sci-fi epics, from Blade Runner to Ghost in the Shell, from New Romancer to Snow Crash. Something about these neon-lit streets have evoked both high-tech heaven and a low-life hell. The perfect backdrop, perhaps, to consider the future of an even more radical vision of the future, the metaverse. Imagine a world where you can be anyone, anywhere, at any time. A world where reality blends seamlessly into the digital, opening up endless possibilities. This is the metaverse, and today, we're diving headfirst into this mind-bending world. We will explore the secrets, the tech, and the impact of this digital frontier. Get ready to redefine reality itself. The Emergence of the Metaverse the metaverse, a term that's been floating around for years, isn't just a concept anymore. It's a digital revolution, and its emergence is as fascinating as it is groundbreaking. Back in the 1990s, the idea of a metaverse was first coined by Neal Stephenson in his sci-fi novel Snow Crash. Little did he know that his imaginative creation would start taking shape in the real world. Fast forward to the early 2000s, and virtual worlds like Second Life were popping up, offering a glimpse into the possibilities of interconnected digital spaces. But it wasn't until the 2010s that the metaverse began to gain real momentum. In 2014, Facebook, now Meta Platforms, acquired Oculus VR for $2 billion, signaling a major bet on virtual reality as a key component to the metaverse. This move was a game changer and catalyzed the development of VR technology. By 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the demand for virtual interactions and companies like Zoom saw massive growth. This highlighted the need for more immersive and engaging digital experiences, pushing the metaverse even further into the mainstream conversation. In 2021, the metaverse went under the spotlight when Mark Zuckerberg announced that Facebook would rebrand itself as Meta with a mission to build the metaverse. This announcement came with a commitment of $10 billion in investment over the next several years. Today, major tech players are investing heavily into the metaverse, and the market is estimated to be worth over $400 billion by 2027. It is no longer a futuristic concept, but a rapidly emerging digital landscape that's poised to reshape how we live, work, and play. Building Blocks of the Metaverse to understand the metaverse, let's dive into its foundational components, each playing a crucial role in creating this immersive digital universe. Number one, virtual reality. At the heart of the metaverse lies VR technology. VR transports users into computer-generated environments using headsets like Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. These headsets provide a 360-degree immersive experience with lifelike visuals making you feel like you're inside the digital world itself. Number 2. Augmented Reality AR enhances the real world with digital overlays. Devices like Google Glass and mobile apps like Pokemon Go use AR to blend digital elements seamlessly with your surroundings. In the metaverse, AR has the potential to bridge the gap between the virtual and physical worlds, offering real-time information and interactive experiences. Number 3. Blockchain and NFTs Blockchain technology is the backbone of digital ownership in the metaverse. It's a secure, decentralized ledger that verifies and records ownership of digital assets. Non-fungible tokens represent unique digital items such as digital art, collectibles, or virtual real estate. This ensures that users have genuine ownership and provenance of digital assets within the metaverse. Number 4. Artificial Intelligence and Digital Twins AI provides a pivotal role in making the metaverse dynamic and responsive. AI-driven characters and environments adapt and interact with users, creating a sense of realism. Digital twins are virtual replicas of real-world objects, enabling users to interact with familiar objects in a virtual environment. These elements collectively enhance the immersive experience of the metaverse. Number 5. Interoperability The metaverse isn't confined to a single platform. It's a network of interconnected digital spaces. 
Interoperability ensures that users seamlessly move between different virtual worlds, taking their assets and avatars with them. This is crucial for creating a cohesive metaverse experience. Number six, user-generated content. The metaverse thrives on user creativity. Users contribute by building structures, designing avatars, and generating digital content. Platforms like Roblox and Minecraft demonstrate how UGC fosters community and individual expression within the metaverse. Number seven, privacy and security. In the metaverse, privacy and security are paramount. Advanced encryption methods, decentralized identity systems, and secure protocols protect user data and ensure a safe environment for exploration. Just like in the physical world, users need to have confidence in the safety of their digital presence. These detailed components form the metaverse's foundation, turning it into a rich, complex digital realm where users can explore, create, interact, and own their digital experiences. These elements work in tandem to blur the lines between reality and the digital frontier. The ecosystem. At the heart of the metaverse are social platforms like Meta, Decentraland, and Roblox. These platforms offer shared virtual spaces where people can gather, work, play, and create together, regardless of their physical location. It's like a digital version of your favorite hangout spot. Within this virtual world, virtual economies are flourishing. Users engage in buying, selling, and trading digital assets using cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Whether it's investing in virtual real estate or owning unique digital collectibles, these economies are redefining how we perceive and value digital assets. Other than these, users have the power to create, customize, and shape their digital environments, avatars, and experiences. It's a world where your creativity knows no bounds, much like building with virtual Lego blocks. It has given rise to a virtual real estate market, People buy, sell, and develop virtual lands. And businesses establish their presence in these digital realms. Retail experiences are also evolving, with virtual showrooms and shops offering a wide array of unique digital products and experiences. As the metaverse expands, privacy and security become paramount. Users must have confidence that their data and identities are safeguarded while navigating these virtual spaces. Advanced encryption, decentralized solutions, and stringent security measures are essential to ensure a secure digital environment. It has already transformed the entertainment and gaming industries. It's a realm where you can attend virtual concerts, participate in live events, and enjoy gaming experiences that feel more immersive than ever before. Artists and creators now have a global stage to showcase their talents. Meta is rewriting the rules of education and work, Virtual classrooms and offices provide seamless integration of physical and virtual experiences. Learning and collaboration happen in immersive environments, transcending geographical limitations. Even the healthcare sector is entering the metaverse. Virtual clinics, telemedicine, and support groups offer innovative ways to address healthcare needs. The metaverse presents opportunities for medical training, therapy, and groundbreaking research. While the metaverse brings boundless possibilities, it also raises ethical concerns. Issues like digital addiction, privacy infringements, and the digital divide must be addressed as the metaverse continues to expand. It's essential to navigate these challenges responsibly. In short, its ecosystem is dynamic and ever-evolving. It's not merely a technological advancement. It's a cultural and societal shift. Looking ahead, we anticipate deeper integration into our daily lives, reshaping how we connect, work, and engage with the world. Ethical considerations. But at the end of the day, it's vital to acknowledge and understand the complex challenges and ethical considerations that come with this digital realm. One of the foremost concerns in the metaverse is ensuring equitable access for everyone. The digital divide, rooted in disparities in access to technology and the internet, can further deepen inequalities in this new landscape. It's crucial that we work to bridge these gaps, making the metaverse accessible to all, regardless of their background or location. The immersive nature of the metaverse can be both captivating and potentially addictive. As we spend more time in this digital realm, concerns about digital addiction and its impacts on mental health emerge. Striking a balance between digital engagement and well-being becomes a central challenge. In short, data is currency. 
Users generate vast amounts of personal data as they navigate virtual spaces, interact with others, and conduct business. The ethical aspects of data ownership, control, and production come to the forefront. Users should have confidence that their data is secure and that they maintain ownership and agency over their digital identities and assets. The bottom line is, the metaverse is in its infancy, with some companies diving in while others step back. Disney and Microsoft closed their metaverse units in early 2023, and even Meta scaled back its efforts. However, the metaverse's potential is akin to the internet's evolution. It's not science fiction. It's already here. Firstly, I don't think that Metaverse is going to be just one platform. I think Metaverse, at least in my view, should be platform agnostic. I think that's the benefit of it, is the fact that it's going to actually be agnostic to a particular platform, it's going to exist in different technologies, and it should be interoperable. And I think what's going to power it up is if people are able to move seamlessly through the, the experiences in the Metaverse versus actually being siloed into one particular platform. So whether it's on Roblox, Fortnite, NVIDIA's Omniverse, and through a Meta or Apple headset or something else entirely, there are a lot of different directions the Metaverse could go. And that's the point, as technology, the internet, and the way we use both of them evolves. This is not going to go away. The internet will continue to evolve. Their hardware is going to continue to evolve beyond our phones. You know, what about that post-smartphone future? New wearables are going to potentially open up new, new ways of us to engage with the internet. Those are all things that brands look at towards the horizon. So yeah, the long-term value is that things are moving fast, technology is converging, and a whole new generation that is going to change things is slowly, you know, growing up. The metaverse, however, is not a place. It's a set of protocols. A protocol is a simple set of rules that governs how data moves between systems. On the internet, it allows us to send emails or view web pages. In the cryptocurrency world, it allows us to buy and sell digital assets. When it comes to the metaverse, it may become a digital operating system that allows the creation of interoperable digital worlds that both extend and mirror the world as we know it today. Ladies and gentlemen, tech enthusiasts and seekers of knowledge, welcome to a journey that promises to ignite your curiosity, fuel your passion, and inspire your innovation. We are thrilled to present the inaugural episode of the GWFM Tech Interview Series. driven by technology and innovation. Our mission is to unravel the minds of the brilliant individuals who are shaping the future one breakthrough at a time. These are the visionaries, the creators, the problem solvers, and the leaders who have transformed the landscape of technology. Imagine a world where you can be anyone, anywhere, at any time, a world where reality blends seamlessly into the digital, opening up endless possibilities. This is the metaverse. And today we are diving headfirst into this mind-bending world. We will explore the secrets, the tech, and the impact of the digital frontier. So get ready 
to redefine reality itself, the emergence of the metaverse. The metaverse, as our speaker will give you details later, is a term that has been floating around for years. It isn't just a concept anymore. It's a digital revolution and its emergence is a, as fascinating as it is groundbreaking back in the 1990s. The idea of metaverse was first coined by Neil Stevenson in his science fiction novel, Snow Crash. Little did he know that his imaginative creation would start taking shape in the real world, fast forward to the 2000s. In virtual worlds like Second Life, Neil Stevenson in his science fiction novel, Snow Crash. Little did he know that his imaginative creation would start taking shape in the real world, fast forward to the 2000s. In virtual worlds like Second Life, in virtual worlds like Second Life, were popping up, offering a glimpse into the possibilities of interconnected digital spaces. But it wasn't until the 2010s that the metaverse began to gain real momentum. In 2014, Facebook, now of course Meta, acquired Oculus VR for $2 billion, signaling a major bet on virtual reality as a key component to the metaverse. This move was a game changer and catalyzed the development of VR technology. By 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the demand for virtual interactions and companies like Zoom saw massive growth. This, this of course, highlighted the need for more immersive and engaging digital experiences, pushing the metaverse even further into the mainstream conversation. In 2011, the metaverse went under the spotlight with Mark Zuckerberg announced that Facebook would rebrand itself as Meta with a mission to build the metaverse. This announcement came with a commitment of 10 billion in investment over the next several years. Today, major tech players are investing heavily into the metaverse and the market billion by 2027. It is no longer a futuristic concept, but a rapidly emerging digital landscape that's poised to reshape how we live, work, and play. Let's dive into the fundamental components, each playing a crucial role in creating this digital universe. Today, we gather not merely to observe this phenomenon from a distance, but to immerse ourselves in its depths, to understand its nuances, and to explore how it is poised to impact one of the most crucial facets of our, our world, human resources. Why HR, you might ask? Because in this era of metaverse, HR plays an instrumental role in reshaping the future of our work, workforce. From recruitment and onboarding, in immersive digital environments, to training and development through cutting edge simulations, the metaverse has the potential to revolutionize how we approach every aspect of human resources. But as with any profound shift, the metaverse brings with it a host of challenges and ethical considerations. New skill sets, a fresh perspective, and equity. Over the course of this interview, we will traverse these topics and more. We will hear from an expert who has navigated the metaverse's uncharted territories, and we will engage in thought-provoking conversation that will leave us better equipped to face the future. Today, we are not passive observers of history. We are record and a passionate innovator. Our guest for this episode is none other than Venu Ganapuram. Venu is a name that resonates with excellence. His accomplishments 
range from being a nominee for the Padma Shri Award to being recognized as an Atman Nirbhar Bharat awardee. He's a man of many talents, a scientist par excellence, a TEDx speaker, and one of Asia's top 100 leaders in technology. But beyond the accolades, Benu is a visionary, a philosophical motivator, a mentor, volunteer, is dedicated to making a difference in the world. With a background in aerospace and gas dynamics, Benu has spent nearly two decades in the pursuit of knowledge, research, and innovation. His expertise in the field of aerospace, propulsion, gas dynamics, and experimental evaluation of aerospace propulsive systems is truly unparalleled. He has worked on projects worth millions, collaborating with prestigious organizations like ISRO, BRDO, GTRE, ADA, and GE. But his interests go beyond traditional boundaries. When he was a researcher, an enthusiast of the metaverse, and an advocate for emerging technologies. He believes in the transformative power of the metaverse and its potential to shape the future. Not only is he a scientist, but he's also an advocate for humanity. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, when you used his skills to develop a life-saving device, Jivam, designed to protect our brave healthcare workers. Beyond his scientific per, uh, pursuits, when he is a man of diverse interests, from music and drawing to sports and leadership. He has represented CSIR, NAL in various sporting events and led as vice president of the staff club, showcasing his multifaceted talents and leadership qualities. <clears throat> Welcome. Good evening, Pardo. Good evening, all of you. It's a pleasure to have you. It's my pleasure to witness a uh, wonderful video and uh, beautiful uh, brief about the metaverse, Pardo. Thank you very much. And uh, what a lovely interaction as well about myself. Uh, uh, I am a little incompetent in uh, introducing you because, uh, you know, it's just as I am incompetent to talk about metaverse. So, <laughs> so uh, now, uh, diving straight away, uh, I, I said a lot of things which I, you know, kind of, uh, cut, copy, pasted, then put it onto my brain. But uh, uh, would you, would you, would you start with a brief introduction to what the metaverse is? Yeah, uh, metaverse is whatever we know so far is like a digital world, and it's like a virtual world that we create as an alternative. Uh, most of us now we say that the, we will the novel which has. Uh, uh, emerged in 90s and all. But I will go much beyond that. See, as per me, the idea of creating alternative world, I will go back to our Indian mythology. I take the example of Vishwamitra, whose idea is to create alternative world. Okay. So, but the thing is now in real world, when we come here, we see the metaverse is first coined in one novel, then many companies are going into that. So when it comes to the technology about the metaverse, it's, it is a digital virtual world creator for executing the activities and delivering, delivering our jobs in a virtual world in a real time. So as the video depicted very clearly, it's ensemble and constellation of AI, AR, VR, XR. So, so it's a combination of all other latest technologies which will give the comfort and ease of doing the things. So Metaverse is going to be the future undoubtedly. So how we have to adapt and how we have to excel in this world. So that is the way forward that we have to look into. Fascinating. Can we share some of the most exciting developments happening in the metaverse right now? Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I will quote uh, one of the sales of Mahendra Thar. <coughs> we heard, right? The, the sales of Thar. Yes has taken place in metaverse where virtually you can enter into the vehicle, you can feel the ambience inside. And then after uh, viewing 360 degrees of the object, 
you can take a decision that is one part another part is uh, musical concerts ariana grande she has conducted her concert in uh, metaverse yes and, i heard about i heard about. yeah korea in 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 korea they have created one beautiful city landscape in metaverse where we can easy or um, freely you can move walk and feel the ambience and there they have created the city itself and the one more thing they are fascinating as you said our bangalore airport terminal 2 is present in metaverse oh i didn't know this yeah, yeah, you can travel through the terminal 2 and you can feel that so this is what the advancement of metaverse and how it is taking place our neighborhood themselves are changing and venturing into the metaverse but we have to adapt to that so these are some of the development that i am telling to you uh, but but uh, uh, i i am quite fascinated you talked about uh, the automobile industry you talked about uh, i i heard about uh, walmart uh, using it for uh, you know showcasing its products and uh, so this retail and uh, manufacturing uh, yes and uh, i i also know that nvidia uh, you know kind of created the uh, 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 what is virtual factory right yes yes yes, yes. so yes. this is this is something that i'm yeah, yeah. aware of right but what i yeah. trying to ask you is i yeah. definitely this indicates that the potential is huge yes uh, but which are the you know top industries which are you know kind of uh, in the front line to seek advantage of uh, metaverse yeah if you see uh, now uh, let me take the bank of baroda when it comes to the banking system as you quoted see uh, bank of baroda already they are working on this and they are now in future we will not be having the physical address of the banks now can you remember when did you go to your bank physically and check your accounts or any other purpose i don't recall last <laughs> one year i don't remember unless otherwise if i have to go for some loan or something where i have to physically submit my K- kyc and the manager wants to see me kind of thing otherwise there is absolutely no necessity now so this is one sector we can see that now nft sir come right nft sir come so now the thing is uh, finance also is completely moving to the digital, digital system so where is the necessity of being physical now it is coming like digital okay it's a, uh, you, you, one more keyword that you will hear that digital where the physical physical world is going to the digital and ultimately it is coming to digital world so this is coming to the banking sector and education system it is tremendously transforming to a digital system i have some examples where the university completely migrated to metaverse and where the professor as well as the students are given the gadgets and they will go online so based on their schedules they will go for the lectures and talks so education system also transforming towards metaverse and the classes everything will be taken care so what is happening is that you are really migrating from physical to the digital world where you will be given the first thing is the comfort of executing the things whenever you want and from wherever you are so that is the kind of a transformation that we can expect from metaverse so major uh, industry sectors if you see banking even real estate and uh, automobile industries when you say automobile industries we have uh, vr systems where particular assembly of two components how they have to be done first they can do that virtually and the beauty in metaverse is that you can feel the impact if two components are not matching that you can see the virtual and you can feel it then you can come back if the design has to be changed or if the procedure has to be updated or upgraded that that you can do it virtually without losing any time on that so there you are saving a lot of time because time is money for that sector so i think uh, the same same uh, extending the same uh, you know uh, concept yeah. i i think uh, it should it should impact and surgery is in a major way which i hear yes. it is already doing yes and uh, 
but i you know being an indian i have a question as an yeah. indian yeah okay now uh, you mentioned vishwamitra right so Vish- yeah. vishwakarma you mentioned okay now those yes. days uh, when vishwa vishwakarma was vishwamitra yes yeah. vishwakarma uh, the you know uh, when when they 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 were building okay this uh, so uh, maya dana all of that cost was never a uh, you know constraint <laughs> yeah yeah right but in today's world in india uh, all all these uh, you know uh, uh, major major uh, requirements of metaverse is mm-hmm. uh, is it possible for an indian to afford i mean i'm asking in companies abroad i'm told that they are giving out uh, headsets like they used to give uh, laptops right is that possible in india definitely definitely it is possible see uh, what i gave the examples are indian companies mahindra i gave you indian companies bank of baroda banking sector i gave the indian company so when you see the prosperity of implementing such system so the companies the, they doesn't mind initial investments so once you invest in the beginning then later on it will be the productivity when you see that it is going to be tremendously high so in comparison with without having the systems so definitely even indian systems also they are adapting to that and definitely yes you can see that down the line next 5 years you will see the tremendous transformation towards metaverse with the investments great now uh, as you know the gwfm is a global forum of hr and wfm professionals yeah <laughs> people who uh, watch our uh, programs are mostly in these two domains okay uh, first uh, i would like to ask you okay how metaverse is actually import uh, impacting uh, hr and the workforce uh, in general so that is actually beautiful if you see the hr hr what i see that they are the uh, uh, key players for any industry they are resourcing the, the one of the uh, major resource so we when we talk in uh, engineering when we study in engineering we talk about the four resources major four m's we say man money uh, machinery and all so there it comes the man okay and that is the crucial part for any industry so here when it comes to hr for uh, for job fairs you can conduct the virtual job fairs it's not just one to one in fact you can create one complete fair in metaverse itself and multiple people you can interact so that comes to the talent acquisition or recruitment major recruitment and you can do the immersive way of interviewing one to one where you can go in details you can access the files and you can access their presentations so that's how you can you can do that for the recruitment purpose this is one part of your hr right so then when it comes to the training and development you you can create you can simulate the things whatever the training part whether it is technical or ethical or any procedural trainings so all those things that, that you can create it one of my paper which i have presented in iim nagpur so there i have presented about the gamification how gamification can uh, change the game of training the people and there you can you can create a uh, competitiveness you can create the empathy among the teams team building can be done through the gamification so these and all when it comes to the training you can definitely do that with the metaverse and one more thing that metaverse is going to give the comfort of working from home creating an environment there where you you will collaborate with the employees you are because you are creating virtual office there and you are giving all the access to them and there the productivity of the each individuals will improve tremendously because you are giving that much flexibility so now what you are doing is the the progress of the work whatever the job you are given to them so everything everything you can take it to real time progress updates and this is what you are you are uh, whatever you are seeing that 
uh, talent acquisition recruitment training engagement and further progress all put together in a single uh, platform that you can get it when it comes to the hrm so metaverse is giving such kind of flexibility and when you when you have when you want to engage your the teams so you you will bring all the all the team members together you will ask them to create their own avatars see that is one more fascinating thing about right. uh, among employees is that you you are giving the flexibility you create your own superstar image or whatever your own uh, avatar that you want to see yourself in a right. different world or different platform so such kind of things they will uh, excite them and they will try to contribute more so you are giving that kind of flexibility by uh, implementing metaverse uh i mean as a as a you know uh, hr professional uh, who is kind of today today what i observe is uh, you know technology yeah. is coming but the adaption is never 100% in any organization okay right yeah. now that that brings us maybe maybe a lack of uh, technological literacy right so uh, i mean uh, how how best can i uh, or anybody like me who does not have a uh, high proficiency in technology embrace metaverse yeah this is actually a beautiful question uh, because uh, this this question i faced multiple times in uh, hr congress whenever i go to hr congress and present metaverse this thing i got it and i used to ask the question why do you need to know about some technology being an hr why do you want to know about this because you should be updated with whatever the latest technology is available in the market in your field then only you can give to your company or your manpower because the company manpower or the company's technology status lies with whatever the resources that you have because metaverse is the latest technology the latest platform are a tool that is enabling you to enhance your skills so as a hr you should be aware about the technologies that are available that you can use and you can give to your employees for improving their own performance and eventually that enhances their efficiency so in that case hr has to be what you say the technological literate so he has to learn and the thing is the digital world should not be ignored char has to know about the, the digital world whatever it is available to you it is not the technical like java oracle or whatever the tools that one tech, te, technocrat can learn but as a hr you should know for your field what are the other tools are available so metaverse is one of the platforms that is given to hr to effectively utilize and improve on skill development learning and employee engagement as we discussed so these things should be taught to hr uh, professionals so that they can effectively implement in the organization and bring the efficiencies back to the top of whatever the ambitious employees are uh, i i uh, i would personally uh, you know uh, feel very happy to play the child in the toy shop okay <laughs> right and yeah. uh, that that is my way of learning okay yeah so uh, because uh, i i do not think that an mm. hr professional so, some mm. are some come from engineering background so they understand the concepts and they probably are more uh, efficient in fine tuning stuff to their uh, requirement or they are very very good in terms of uh, articulating uh, how to how to use a tool for their uh, purposes but as a normal uh, you know uh, hr professionals are they man in terms of technology sometimes he doesn't get the vision how this could fit right so there there is a need for mass community hr Uh, uh community education right now what do you think could be a possible uh, uh course 
where uh, I mean, is only sensitization about uh, technology or sensitization of say metaverse in uh, particular would be enough to uh, uh, equip the HR professional to adapt technology and reduce a lot of his burdens. Because gamification, when you said gamification at one point in time, HCL technologies use gamification to uh, engage uh, future employees, right? Now, if that goes on metaverse, I'm sure it will, it will uh, definitely engage more people because today the, you know, uh, staffing needs and the numbers that we are talking about is much higher than when HCL did it, uh, maybe uh, way back in 2014, 15. So I am saying, one is, what is the kind of course or uh, curriculum that uh, a technologist like you would suggest for an HR professional to make him come to a level where he is able to understand how best to adapt? Okay, this is actually beautiful, beautiful. See, uh, in my general, my presentation, I, I dedicated three slides for only gamification, how to design that. Because uh, the gamification cannot be one single masterpiece that can fit to any kind of organization, no. What we have to do is the, the games has to be designed for particular organization. In that organization also, the particular department, because each department will have its own way of uh, doing the jobs or different kinds of jobs or different culture will be there. So the, the gamification has to be customized to their name. So HR should know what kind of tools are available in Metaverse or it's enough if he knows Metaverse and but the thing is he should know who is the coder who can develop the coding based on his requirement. He should give the inputs to the coding guy and techni technologists what should be there? What are the elements should be put in gamification? In one example, if I take in gamification itself, we, uh, okay, I will, I will give you, for example, temple run. Okay. So if you, if you see a child playing a temple run, for example, you put up the volume. If you ask the child to put up the volume and play, he will be, he will not be playing it because he has to feel the sound whenever he collects the coins. So that means each individual is having, one will be having the video, one will be having the audio sensors, one will be having the sense of uh, physically playing the game. So the five senses are very much important. So similarly, in each game, you have to design such a way that by understanding your employees, you have to design it. So you have to give the main skeleton to the technologies who himself will develop the game and give it to you. Now the question comes in that game. Is it like just fun game? No, the fun in combination of your own technology needs, your own company policies that you can put it. Some games can be like racing. How many miles you are covered in a given time. So based on that, you will give the scoring based on that. You will give the awards in some cases you will give, create some maps or figure out the reaching the goal. How much time did you take? to reach your goal. So like that, you will be giving uh, the game. Games has to be designed in such a way that every time it, it has to be changing. It has to be challenging. And the level of challenging also should change. And this, this kind of strategies, HR guy can plan and that should be given to the technologies and the technologies, the coding guy will develop the game suited into the requirement. So HR guy need not be the technologist, but he should be the strategist what kind of strategy he should employ in the game and ultimately end of the game, what he needs, the output, how employee has to change. For example, as you said, the uh, newly joined employees will be engaged with the gamification. That is one part. But the thing is already the employees who are already trained by your organization. So they are also very much assets for you. So you should not lose them. So you have to engage them also for their promotions, for retention. their skill set. Yes. So employee retention, we say. So for the retention also, because after some time, they also will look for alternate jobs. So how you will retain, how you will encourage them, how you have to motivate them for the purpose also, again, for the games, for the notification, for the rewards. So HRM has to think in that strategies 
one is talent acquisition another one is employee retention and engagement kind of thing. so this strategy should be planned and given to the technologies who will develop the gamification needing to your requirements as a you know now yeah. uh, everywhere wherever yeah. metaverse is being discussed yeah and wherever technology is being discussed okay uh people express their concern about need for privacy and security okay in the world of metaverse how is it okay this is actually major concern for privacy and security yes so when it comes to the security data security uh, metaverse is actually uh, is as i said it's in some of ai we we are and all but the thing is blockchain technology also being used in metaverse so that gives the ultimate safety and security for the data when it comes to the privacy of individuals for example someone is working from home uh, as an employer will see whether employee is really logged in the system and uh, uh, working or not that is one part as an employee they will be having that someone is watching me throughout the day or uh, throughout the duration of login so but the thing is here both the cases what is comes to picture is integrity okay so the thing is the privacy part when it comes yes it will be you will be constantly pinging your data to the server that where are you what are you doing kind of thing but the thing is when you are doing your uh, job or when you are delivering or logging into the system yes your data will be given to your company server the way you are physically there so when it comes to the privacy part so it is as equivalent as you are physically present in your office so one need not worry about their privacy part that though you are in home you are being watched yes you consider yourself as you are in office so that's how you can eliminate that but when it comes to security as i mentioned the blockchain uh, is very much playing a role in metaverse to ensure the data security yeah. that's nice to know at least my privacy is maintained <laughs> uh, uh, we know yeah now that there are a lot of people who are trying yeah. to uh, today since metaverse has got a big arc light right okay yeah and uh, it is being talked across the world and i celebrity mm-hmm. uh, heads of uh, companies right mm-hmm. so obviously mm. uh, if if i look at myself as a parent and i mm-hmm. have a son or daughter who is looking for a career obviously i'll try and you know uh, obliquely push my uh, word into a career in metaverse right now are there any essential skills that people need to have to make a career in the metaverse yeah yeah definitely because this is a very creative world okay so one need to have the creativity of creating something new world so for that one you need to have skills like uh, uh 3d modeling kind of thing and the coding languages you should know and how to generate one vr world or virtual world you should you should be aware of it and what whatever the technologies are available that needs to be learned by individuals then definitely you will be succeeding in this world or creating a metaverse so these are essential skills one must learn these things otherwise because it's ultimately end of the day as i said you should be a effective coder to customize one platform or gamification as i took the example of you should be able to customize the game to suit into your client so in that case you should excel in creating world by using your own coding kind of thing so definitely uh, 3d modeling kind of uh, skills is required and coding language should be there so i think uh, all those people uh, who have uh, creative kids at home and uh, probably some kids who are into 
some kind of basic level SFX and BFX kind of work, they could probably find a career in Metaverse in a big way. Because what I understand is, in, in Hollywood, Metaverse is being used to uh, design uh, sets which uh, were beyond uh, the imagination of the so-called BFX artists, right? So, uh, I mean, uh, that's, that's something that I conclude from your reply, but, you know, this is, this is one world which is going to benefit a lot. I mean, uh, in the sense that they will have a bigger avenue to, and a bigger playground to play in, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, I, I got your point. So, this comes to, again, the ethical concerns, what you are going to raise it, ultimately. See, the thing is, Hollywood, you have taken an example of Hollywood. See, uh, recently, Indiana Jones, we have seen that. Okay. So, just because uh, people are having the skill to uh, recreate an image of an artist. Okay. So, now the thing is, when it comes to the creation of sets, it's okay. You can create the sets virtually, beautifully. That will save a lot of money for the producer. And it, it, it will give the entertainment to the audience. Up to that point is okay. But when it comes to creating an artist image there with Without the con consent of artist and uh, Tom Hanks also is one more example. Without his consent, he was uh, put in one ad and it was given. So when it comes to the ethics, one should not misuse the technologies. So now Hollywood is the best example where people have misused the technology and kept the ethics aside. So when it comes to any advancement in technology, definitely we'll have this kind of ethical concerns because people are uh, in a race to show off their excellence in technologies. But the thing is, in that race, they are forgetting about the ethics. So one should have that kind of ethics and integrity in, while adopting these technologies. So it should be like both, both the sides, it should be like a win-win situation. But not that I will only win with whatever I have, keeping moral values and ethics aside. So that should not be there. Yeah, but I mean, uh, in in uh, Calcutta, there was uh, there's one movie that uh, has been uh, made. Uh, I don't know whether you are aware of uh, the Bengali matinee idol called Uttam Kumar, right? He he is uh, what uh, NTR was for. Uh, you know, Andhra. So uh, the, the, the storyline that has been developed where uh, his uh, grandson uh, sees him in dream. Okay. And uh, then they have a story which is uh, this guy uh, thinks, of, uh, thinks of his grandpa and the entire story is a dream story. Okay. So there you have Uttam Kumar, who died about uh, 20, 20, uh, 30 years ago. Uh, Uttam Kumar actually playing and this guy is playing with him, right? So there's a full story. Now, similarly, if I, if I extrapolate my thinking process and uh, think of a storyline where uh, the N.T. Ramarao and uh, N.T.R. Junior uh, <laughs> are cast in a movie as uh, grandfather and son, I mean, uh, how how uh, will ethics get maintained is something of a debate, right? It's, a, it's a, something of a debate. And obviously, in, in, in this kind of a situation, we are also, government regulations are not in place to, you know, uh, control, control this. I'm sure there are not as many laws which can, uh, you know, support... Uh, uh, ethical uh, considerations, but I'm sure the way it is going and the way the, you know Bahubali's and uh, PS2s are getting made, I'm sure something of that nature will happen. Uh, now, as as a futurist, what do you see is the future of metaverse? And please include when you are crystal gazing, please include. Uh, what is the future for us, HR and WPM professionals, in the world of metaverse, which is which is emerging? 
So definitely, this uh, future is going to be metaverse. It is undoubtedly that is the true, whether you accept it or not. See, uh, I will give one more example. Siri in iPhones, right? Nobody imagined earlier. But the thing is, the moment it introduced, whether you like it or not, you are being forced to use it. Not only in phone, iPhone, even TV sets, you are given uh, audio assistance where you, with your remote, you will be speaking to change the channel or going to that, whatever the subject you need. So such kind of technologies are available. When say, technologies are giving you the comfort, obviously you will be inclined towards such technology. So metaverse is one of them. So when it comes to the HR world, from the day of inception of metaverse technologies, as in being an HR, we are supposed to explore the technology, how this technology can be adapted to our system and how we can implement it. Because this is going to be some immersive technologies where you will wet your hands by working with the te uh, technology and allowing your employees to work in that. And ultimately you will improve on productivity. And you raised one more beautiful point about the government regulations and all. See, uh, this is in one of the forums uh, as a panel. I just raised one question because a artificial intelligence is going day by day. Like uh, it, it's like it is the ultimate technology, and without any boundaries. But the thing is, this kind of race will lead to technology dominance over human being. So, what is the government? Is there any guidelines? Now, European countries they already set up a panel where they are going to limit the artificial intelligence up to what level, what extent that should go. And even in India, also the deliberations are going on to cap the technologies, how, how far that can go and within what boundaries it, the technology should work. So similarly for metaverse also government regulations will come, taxation will come, intellectual property, um, uh, how it has to be secured. So those things will come. And when it comes to the uh, HR field, we have to be, what you call open-mindedly, we have to accept the technology and definitely in future, I'm, I'm even precisely I'm giving down the line five years, you see the tremendous changes in HR field from talent acquisition, job fit. You will be allowed to do these things in metaverse, like virtual world, you will be doing that and employee engagement also, you will be given the platforms where even not multiple HR guys will be involved in this. It will, it will be like, one is to 50 ratio for 50 employees, one HR guy is say, enough to create one gamification platform or engage them and get the output of that one. So this is going to be uh, really seen down the line five years. That's what I am seeing about the HRM, how it going to transform into the metaverse. Uh, one, one very cheeky one I'm going to ask you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you do you think we will have uh, uh, our uh, metas from India or our Nvidia's from India or uh, uh, Lego toys from India? We will we have uh, Indians who Indian companies who could rule uh, the market, the metaverse market? Is is there that a possibility? Because we are talking metaverse, right? So definitely, definitely. Even, even in my recent survey, uh, when I did my recent survey about the metaverse, how the, the lifestyle going to be changed with the metaverse. So with that, in that survey also, the results are very, very, very much promising. And that is exactly suiting to your question. Yes, my answer will be yes. So far we are developing under the corporate where we are not exposed to that, uh, we are efficient in doing that. But in future, definitely we will become the leader in whatever the NVIDIA is doing, whatever the Meta is doing, whatever the other uh, organizations are doing. We will become the pioneers again and we will see the lead runners in this field as well. 
wonderful so so if ikea is listening uh, you know uh, please please start a uh, you know ex experiential uh, store because I, ikea is too far away from my house where i stay okay <laughs> and uh, you know let me buy some furniture in the metaverse in the world of metaverse okay Sure, <laughs> the day is very near for you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm I'm expecting to enhance my lifestyle in the virtual world, right? So yeah. wonderful, Venu. Thank you so much for actually enhancing us. Okay, and uh, it's uh, been a great, great pleasure. I'll always, whenever I talk to you, Venu, I mean, there, there's this uh, happiness that you you. uh send to all who talk to you and uh, today after all the conversation that we had you know there's one thing that i am uh, you know keeping with myself is that you know this is this is something uh, you know that uh, when i was uh, at 5 to 6 years old i read a book called alice in wonderland right and uh, those uh, times i never thought that the world will actually uh, gift me the wonderland right today the world is a wonderland yes. and metaverse is enhancing that wonderland and we will have lot of stuff that we never imagined uh, uh, we we could uh, as human beings have access to but people like you who who have a vision will continuously help us look at the future the metaverse is a paradigm shift that requires all to adapt learn and embrace new ways of working by doing so we can harness the potential to enhance recruitment training collaboration and overall employee experience with this we at gwpm express our deepest gratitude to venu and all of you who joined us in this session we invite you to our next session for more exciting discussions on emerging technologies and their impact on our world watch out for the dates on the gwpm pages on linkedin and facebook please 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 join our groups in the linkedin and facebook then look out for our communication on whatsapp and keep checking your mails press the like button on our videos on youtube whenever we are able to put this on and youtube promotes our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get the latest notifications from us these dear friends would make gwfm reach out to more and more hr and wp professionals across the globe today we are we are standing at 20000 across the globe and which with your support will multiply to join our whatsapp group please reach out to me and shiva my i am on 9744273975 and shiva is at 9167844214 thank you once again all of you this is your host parthu gangudi wishing you adios of vidarshay i don't speak much of german but i'm trying <laughs> of vidarshay goodbye stay happy stay blessed